Lucy? Mike, let me in. I brought a casserole over. It's cliche, I know, but... How are you feeling? Do I really have to answer that question? No. Sorry. That was stupid. It's just... I'm so sorry. I don't know how to do this. Don't be sorry. You're fine. It's just... I don't know how I'm going to live the rest of my life without him, you know? Just keep coming in here, sitting in his room. I don't know who I am if I'm not his mum. You'll always be his mum, Lucy, and Sarah's mum. My sister, Mike's <laughs> wife, nothing will ever change that. <laughs> Mike still hasn't even spoken to me since the police left. It's my fault. But you can't blame yeah, yourself. Yeah, but he's right. It is my fault. If I'd just been watching them, then this would have never happened. You can't be watching all the time. It's not possible. thing is this is the calmest I have felt in years like when Andy was born my biggest fear was losing him <laughs> that's not true actually the second I knew I was pregnant just this undercurrent of fear you know, what if he runs out into the road, or what if he gets taken from the garden? And then Sarah was born. And it doubled. And now he's gone. And the worst thing that could have ever happened to me has happened. I got left to lose. 